Hello, dear students. Sai Abhinav Negi and Dheera Sir, welcome you all on Resultant. So, just five months are left for your GATE preparation, for your GATE 2026 preparation. In these five months, what should be our steps? How we should be carrying forward our journey? How we should tackle the pressure and the stress? What are the things required to optimize the marks? All these things we will be discussing in this session. So, Directly, let's go to Hisar, Dheerat sir. Dheerat sir, welcome. Yes, thank you, sir. Uh, so, sir, I feel students uh, were in a worry that how to tackle the pressure for these five months because whenever exam is coming near, these four or five months are becoming very crucial for the students. And regularly, students are asking, sir, make some strategic video. Tell us how to tackle the pressure, how to go with the test series, how to go with the revisions, how to go with the syllabus, till which date syllabus should be over, and also other things like multiple papers, all those things students are having doubt. So I feel this video will be answer to all those questions which we are getting from uh, last few days from the student side on Telegram and WhatsApp. So let's start the session, sir. Okay. Uh, so guys, before we start the session, let me uh, let us tell about the resultant, about our uh, courses, okay? So, एक बार सर इन कोर्स के बारे में बता दीजिए फिर स्टार्ट करते हैं। Yes, so guys, uh, as you know, very few months are left for the gate exam. So gear up 2026 batch is going on uh, for civil engineering as well as for mechanical engineering with a very low fees and you can see it will be available in both the languages uh, like English and English, okay, or English and Hindi you can say. And guys, in this course, you will be getting the complete recordings of the theory sessions. Along with that, we will also go with some uh, like practice live sessions as well. And guys, when we are talking about test series, will be included obviously for every student. And also formula notes, uh, study notes, uh, workbook, PYQs, all these things will be included in the course in the PDF format. Similarly, Vision 2026 and Target 2027 batches are also there. And they are actually for gate and engineering services both and they will be having that last date of 30th June. Okay, so that is the difference between the courses and similarly for mechanical all the things are same. Okay, so for mechanical also it is there and as you know we are using two apps one is resultant civil one is resultant mechanical so resultant ME and resultant CE based on your branch you can download the app and you will also get many few demo videos as well. Okay. So this is for uh, mechanical. Now, my dear, we are going to start. So, sir, please come in and let's start the session. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, so, guys, first of all, na, uh, the first step uh, for your uh, rest of the six months preparation. I'm not saying that this is the first step for uh, you for your gate preparation. I'm telling you the first step for the remaining six months. Might be already you have taken many steps. Somebody have, might be taking the first step also, but somebody have taken many steps also. So this I'm telling you the first step for the next six months. That set your target. Okay. Like those students who have already prepared 50% uh, of the syllabus, of course, they can set the target that they will be covering almost 100% of the syllabus and out of 100, they will be getting something 70, 80, 85, depending upon their efficiency. But other students who have only covered 5% syllabus, 10% syllabus or even if they have not covered anything, so they have to set their target that I will be going for 70 marks or 75 marks. These will be my subjects. And from these subjects, I will try to get 90% efficiency or 90% output. Okay, so set the target. Of course, uh, for the six months, for the remaining six months, if you are at the zero level right now, uh, might be you are going for 100 marks. But if you're going for 100 marks, gate is such an exam, na, such an in-depth questions are asked, such an in-depth uh, concepts are required that if you're going for 100 marks, that means you will not be covering the depth of the syllabus. Okay. In that case, you will not be covering the vertical depth of the syllabus if you're going for 100 marks. And what the end result will be that out of 100, might be you have covered 100, but you will be getting only 55, 45, 30. So rather than that, go for 80 marks, 85 marks, if this will be your first subject from tomorrow or whatever. Go for 70, 75 or 80 marks and out of that, try to get 90% of the syllabus. I'm again telling you all those students who have covered 30% syllabus, 40% syllabus, they can cover 100% syllabus. This I'm telling to those, those who will be just starting uh, their preparation journey. Okay, so set the target and 
make a timetable that in these days, 15 days, I'll be covering this. In next 10 days, I'll be covering this and then achieve that. Next point, uh, sir, will be telling you. Huh. So I would just like to add one thing, like sir have told you about the target. So for target, that is also going to help you, like uh, if you are going to target some number of marks, that will help you to decide the subjects which you are going to go with. Because obviously you need to see which subjects are high weightage, which are less weightage, which are coming difficult, which are coming easy, where scoring is, uh, more marks is easier, like mathematics aptitude is there, there you can uh, score very good marks. So anyhow, you need to go for that part, okay? Then we are talking about like uh, syllabus coverage when we are talking about. So dear, definitely you need to divide the time because uh, obviously generally what happened is students are completing the syllabus uh, till January, then they don't get the time for test series and also the revisions. So I would like to say that as we are already saying that make a target according to that divide the syllabus and try to complete the syllabus by 15th of December or at the max till end of the December. And that too, along with that, you should go with the revisions as well as some subject wise or topic wise test series. Okay. And uh, try to give one month completely for the uh, like revisions as well as test series. So obviously you need to plan your syllabus accordingly. And as sir already told you that if already 30-40% is covered, you can go for complete syllabus. Now if you are going to start, obviously you need to go for the selective uh, things which you can leave. Okay. Like there are some low weightage subject in both the branches. So accordingly you can go ahead. So this is about the syllabus. So make a plan in what way you are going to complete. And in between like Sunday, Sunday, you can reserve for the test and all so that that test and revision also go parallelly. And when you go for the test, obviously revision automatically you will be doing for the test. So that is included. Both the things are going hands in hands. So, sir. Okay. So, students, now let us go to the next point that optimizing marks. First of all, before I tell you how to optimize marks, let me tell you that what does this mean? This means, guys that suppose six months are left and your X percentage of syllabus is left. Then out of that X percentage, of syllabus, that X can be 100, that X can be 50, that X can be 70 for different students. X percentage of the syllabus is left. That X for some students will be 100, that X for some students will be 50, that X for some students can be 70, 20, whatever. Now out of that X now, there are certain subjects, there are certain topics which are more frequently asked and where the weightage will be more, it is weightage will be more is a very uh, rubbish thing. The correct thing that I'm telling you for many, many years, that rather than weightage now, see that weightage per unit of time given, weightage per unit syllabus. Like for, uh, let me give you an example of uh, engineering mathematics that will be beneficial for civil and mechanical both. That engineering mathematics will be coming of 15 marks. But the time given uh, or the time required to cover that is not huge. If you go for uh, subjects like uh, geotechnical engineering or production engineering, then the weightage is also very high for production also and for geotechnical engineering also. But time required is uh, huge. Okay. So if you see weightage per unit time, na, then engineering mathematics or other subjects are very, very important. So for optimizing marks, na, whatever the X percentage of the syllabus you have left, from that X percent of the syllabus, na, select the subjects and topics which are more frequently asked. Suppose you will be leaving uh, suppose 20 percent of the syllabus. <coughs> then what 20 percent of the syllabus has to be left? Na, that has to be calculated wisely. And one more thing. In that 20 percent, what maximum student does that they will be leaving some subjects. No, guys, it can be in a different way also that that 20 percent instead of uh, leaving uh, three subjects you can leave five five percent of seven subjects and that five percent of every of every of those seven subjects is least important okay there are always certain topics in uh, certain subjects which are not important so rather than leaving three full subjects it is always uh, wise it is always uh, better to leave five five percent of six or seven subjects that is less asked in the examination. This is how you can optimize your marks. Over to sir. Uh, yes, uh, sir I have told very important point that uh, weightage per unit time is a very uh, fundamental and uh, important concept. But one thing I would like to add with this key, yes, you should go like that. At the same time, do one thing. 
if you have already made plan ki i am going to leave this subject for that subject go for some important topics at least so don't leave any one subject completely because like i will give you an example of common subject like like fluid mechanics okay so i remember when i was preparing some of my friends were having like huge huge problem with the fluid mechanics they left it okay but what i did i thought ki let's go for some selective topic like we know that there are every time questions are one question is every time coming from fluid properties one question is every time coming from kinematics like velocity and acceleration kind of concepts so where like uh, one more topic is there at the end when we study uh, that is related to dimensional analysis where questions are always coming so there are some topics which are every year asked so for those subjects which you are not really good at or you are thinking to leave so for those subject go for at least those topics because that may give you the marks you already have made mind to get zero in that subject so what better than that if you get four out of seven so that is going to give you an advantage this is how you can optimize the marks and sir next is i feel related to test series when and how so this is yes. a common doubt uh, in the students ki when we shall start the test series and how we shall start shall we go for topic wise subject wise full length test and even i have seen sir some students are thinking ki they will be starting the test series when the syllabus will be over and because of that they start it in the late december and then they feel ki it is better to just revise because they are getting poor marks there and they are getting demotivated then they feel it is better to just go for revisions and because of that they are making mistakes in the exam which they should have been made in the test series so please guide okay uh, see students uh, there are two types of test full length test and subject wise test of course both are important from test what you will get you will analyze your mistakes and time management but let me tell you guys that analysis of your mistakes will be getting you will get from subject wise test also and full length test both but time management you will be getting only from full length test because from subject wise test na suppose you are very strong in soam of course sir has taught you dhiraj sir has taught you so you are very strong so you can do questions in a jiffy very fast so you will not get that time prediction very correctly but other subjects might not be that strong so you can take more time so time management will be only you will be analyzing yourself in the full length test where complete 65 questions like gate pattern will be coming then you can analyze that yes some subjects i am doing very fast some subjects i am doing little late so time management you will be getting only from full length test not from the subject test because subject test you can take very less time also if you are very strong in that in subject test you can take lot of time also if you are little weak on that so for uh, analysis of mistake both will be you helpful but for time management only full length test will be helpful and all those students who are preparing late let me tell you very very precisely that for you try to minimize or try to do very less subject test and go for the more full length test so that you will be getting both the benefits both the benefits means analysis of mistake and time management so full length tests are more required for those students who are preparing late because you have not that much time that for every subject you will getting you are giving four or five subject tests for one subject one subject test is enough all the practice all the analysis of mistake will be done in the full length test so this is how i have told you now when guys when you covered more than 60% of the syllabus or the target syllabus that you have decided after that start giving the full length test okay might be you are not attempting 65 questions you are attempting only 40 45 questions but you are getting a feel that feel is very important guys let me tell you in a very precise way i am very fond of cricket of course dhiraj sir is also very fond of cricket and this has happened to me of course with sir and of course if you are also playing cricket or other sport you also know that that there are certain pitches na where we have practiced lot of time and where where we have played so many matches na when i am batting there I feel little confident यार इस ground में तो मैं बहुत फोड़ता हूँ यार वो confidence से मेरा nervousness कम होता है और मैं ball अच्छा खेलता हूँ I play a ball better okay but certain grounds where I'm playing for the first time ना this has this has happened to me one week before I was always playing in the tournaments or in the box cricket I have never played in my society so I first played my society a few days or seven to ten days before I I have not performed that well how much I am capable of but after that I have played two, three matches again in the same pitch, and then now I am playing better in that pitch because I am used to with that. That nervousness has been decreased. That same thing will be happening in the gate also. If you give the full length test four to five times, now you have used that interface, that purple color, 
uh, mark for review that green glare that you have done when you have found of that na so you are more familiar and nervousness will be decreased and efficiency will be increased okay it should not be like that the, for the first time you are doing all that interface and in the exam okay over to you sir and yes uh, specifically also work on the gate calculator that is going to be a turning point it may harm your 8 to 10 marks very easily and as sir already told you ki 60% syllabus so don't wait for completion of 100% uh, you need to check yourself although if you will be uh, available with 100% syllabus in the first test then why the gap is there in february you need to be prepared for 100% okay so till then 65 60% it is good okay let's move further so hurdles in between uh, so you know that uh, when we are talking about ki when you are going for a preparation journey various kind of hurdles will be coming in front of you sometimes you would be uh, feeling demotivated hai na sometimes you will be feeling ki oh ho oh, oh, i will not be able to do and let's leave and let's go for the drop such kind of things are also coming in the mind specifically when you get lower marks in the subject or in the test for which you have prepared hard sometimes you feel you have studied the theory and you are not able to make the numerical so such things whenever you are facing uh, as i said uh, whenever you are facing problems with the numerical just go for more and more practice rather than running from that run behind that then you will be able to uh, make it properly that is one thing you should be aware of and sir always used to say that ki self motivation is going to be the biggest and the motivation is coming when you solve the numericals on the concept so you automatically get uh, that uh, confidence because youtube video cannot make you motivated for more than some number of hours or days so it is uh, always better to have self motivation sir please add some things here because this is the thing where students are always facing difficulties uh, guys see hurdles will not be coming only in the gate exam even you get rank 1 na then also there are lot of big even bigger hurdles will be coming in life so hurdle is always a part and parcel of life the more hurdles will come the better the stronger the person you will be coming you will be becoming okay it is always a saying that more you sweat in the practice the less you bleed in the war okay for soldiers na always their commander tells them that more you sweat in the practice the less you bleed in the war the more practice they will be doing less mistakes will be there in the war same thing will be here the more practice you will be doing in the gate exam the less mistakes you will be doing the more practice you will be doing now in the preparation phase the less mistakes you will be doing in the exam day okay and hurdles will be coming guys hurdles will be coming even after you get rank 1 even you after you become a psc officer or a mtech or a engineering service officer hurdle is always a part and parcel of life that always makes you a stronger person hurdles will come you have to identify them you have to tackle them wisely okay might be all hurdles will not be solved but whatever maximum you can do you should do efficiently for that particular hurdle and always guys complete resultant team is with you even before exam and after exam also okay guys uh, so this was it i feel we have given you all the things which you would be having in your mind and also we are always there for you guys and uh, soon you will see us for the practice sessions for gate because now the gate season is starting so we will be live uh, many times on youtube for you guys so just stay there and uh, you would be getting all types of videos like you would be getting practice sessions and also related to the uh, strategy and as well as we will try to keep up some calculator uh, tricks for you guys also which may help you in the gate exam okay thank you dear students all the best